smelting process of iron and steel is simply mining, attained to iron ore, or dressing, crushing iron seal. Magnetic separation into iron concentrate dow powder, sintering, sintering iron concentrate into sintered ore with certain strength and grain size smelting, transport the sintered ore to the blast furnace. Hot air and coke reduce the sintered ore into molten iron, pig iron, and desulfurization steel making, high pressure oxygen in the converter dephosphorization of molten iron, remove improvements, and turn into molten steel, refining, use open hearth or electric furnace to further dephosphorize, remove inclusions. And improve purity, continuous casting, cast molten steel into continuous casting with a certain shape under hot conditions billets. Also called stealing its rolling, rolling continuous casting billets into various types of steel required by users, such as plates, wires, pipes, etc. Pure iron you need is more difficult, but some industries need pure iron. For example, soft iron for electrical engineering requires no remnants, which is the purest iron. It must also be refined to achieve the required ingredients. For steroidization is one of the problems we frequently encountered in rare earth magnesium ductile iron back. For steroidization means that the amount of steroidizing agent added is not enough to fully steroidize out cast iron graphite. The graphite in castings is mostly in the form of clumps, blossoms, dendrites, worms, and thick plates. The rational selection of steroidizing agent and the addition of rare earth, gray, elements are the key to realizing high strength thin walled ductile iron casting. The core of this technology is to ensure ray S is equal to 2 to 2. 5 in the casting, smelting process. The steroidizing agent should be selected from KC and G ray test series materials, and the addition of rare earth elements, K, La, PR, and maintaining a certain ratio with sulfur is the key to steroidizing technology. The test confirms that when ray may not are you, R, for steroidization occurs, when ray may not die you, I deal with, when G may not die you, my mob was prone to fit, and WP shall you, that picture me again, he said, and D tell you, that picture me again, he said, your that picture me again, meaning he was strictly controlled. The macroscopic characteristics of forced steroidization, black spots are distributed on the silver white fractures. And the broken castings have obvious small black spots distributed on the entire cross section, which become denser toward the center. The more serious the degree of coarse steroidization, the larger the diameter of the black spot, the greater the number, and even all the fractures are dark gray, similar to those of gray cast iron. Metallographic microscopic analysis can find concentrated distribution of thick plate graphite or intergranular graphite, as well as a small amount of spherical and agglomerated graphite and plate graphite in severe cases. For steroidization makes the mechanical properties drop sharply, and the performance index specified by the brand cannot be reached. For steroidization is mainly caused by insufficient residual amounts of magnesium and rare earth elements. Using high sulfur coke and nasal iron, when the original molten iron contains more than 0.1% sulfur, it often results in poor steroidization. The molten iron at the junction with gray cast iron is not separated cleanly, due to the calculation error of the charge. The molten iron in gray cast iron is too much, and there is no molten iron at the junction separate cleanly. As a result, high sulfur, or carbon gray cast iron molten iron is mixed into the nodular cast iron, resulting in poor steroidization. In production, the first package of ductile iron at the junction with gray cast iron is often poorly steroidized. The molten iron is oxidized and the last package of ductile iron is molten iron. And proper operation often causes the molten iron to oxidize and the magnesium stone is a strong oxidizer. As a result, part of the magnesium is consumed. In the oxidation, the amount of magnesium for steroidization is insufficient, resulting in poor steroidization. These rare earth magnesium alloys with severe magnesium burning. If the temperature of the molten iron is too high or too low, the temperature of the molten iron is too high, the master alloy and the molten iron will interact violently, and the magnesium will be burned seriously. It does not work. The hearth stores insufficient molten iron, and the slag is also discharged into the molten iron ladle during steroidization. Due to the interaction of the rare earth magnesium master alloy with the molten iron, strong tumbling is produced, causing the slag to be involved in the molten iron and the nodules. Because the slag contains high sulfur and many oxides, some magnesium and rare earths are consumed, which is also one of the reasons for poor steroidization. 